Hi guys, welcome back to Tristan's Book Corner. This week I'm going to be talking about 24 Sleeps to Go. There's 24 stories in this book, and I really wanted to say a big thank you to Trisha J. Kelly for sending me this book. And and um, I read you two stories: the gr- the 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 grumpy child and the magic portal. The grumpy child is number three, and number t- one is. The Magic Portal. I'm going to be first talking to you about the, the Grumpy Child. That was my favorite. The other girl, she was really mean. She had 34 things on her list. And it was so big and heavy that the magic of Santa couldn't even bring it to the North Pole. And every and since that, she got really mad at her brothers and sister. So, and everyone around her. And then, and there's... The, and their brother and sister only asked for one thing, and then the list went there, and then, and then we, we, they, they, they were happy that their list went, but the grumpy child was not, and then she, at the end of this, this, that story, um, she said, maybe I should just do one, and then she ripped up her story, all of that, and she, and she only kept one, and then the list finally went, and then they got all their presents, and then she was happy because she was not mean anymore. And I'm sorry, but I made a mistake. It's not called the the grumpy child. It's called the greedy child, and it's not good to be greedy and wanting more because you have to be appreciative of what you have, like all your toys, your home, your bed, everything you have is important to you and and especially your family is important and that's the little lesson of this story and i'm going to be talking to you about the magic portal now um so it started off with a little boy he had a dream to be away from all of his family for just before they woke up so then he he said his dog i forgot his dog's name Matt. His name is Max, I just remembered, and him and Max, uh, Danny, that's the kid's kid's name, Um, he said to his dog Max, Max, today's the day, and then they went outside, but guess who was awake? They, They thought they were the only ones, but... And she watched them, and then they went downstairs, they got dressed, they put on all their snowsuits, they went outside, Grandma was watching, she was watching them the whole time. They went, they went, they went to the tree, the tree had a door, they went inside, there was a slide, they went down the slide, and then into the world of dreams. There was a voice, who said that, said Daddy. Well, well, it was a little friend. The dream catchers. They're the ones who catch your dreams and make them come true. So that's why Daddy's dream came true. So then him and Max played a lot, a lot together. Then it was almost 8 a.m., which that's so he went back, Grandma was still there, but Daddy and Max didn't see, and Grandma was watching carefully as they came back. And then they went back in their bed, pretend to took off all their things, then they pretended to sleep. And Grandma, you know what happened, she saw them, right? Right. And so they... They thought they no one know, but there was a little secret. Grandma knew, and that's the end of that story. He still loved his family, but the thing is, is that he wanted a bit time to himself. Like when my brother goes goodbye, Tristan, adios, and then he goes to his to our uncles, goodbye, and then. Me and my dad have a special night, and my mom was off too yesterday, just to tell you. And 
we had played, and my dad bought Super Mario Party, and we played, and we played Crab, Smash Oh Crab, and Daddy was, my dad was the survivor. He was able to dodge everyone, but let me tell you the little secret. He was able to dodge everyone except me, okay? But don't tell my dad, or he's gonna get mad at me, okay? And that's the little thing about because he just wanted a minute of time with him and Max together. I didn't read the whole story because I didn't want to spoil it for my family, so we only read two to tell you about it. And this book, since there's 24 sleeps, you could read it before Christmas, and that's the main thing. So you start on number 24 on the first day, then you keep going. So I didn't want to spoil it, so I just read two stories. And... I also wanted to read it for you guys so that way you get it before Christmas and you can read it. <laughs> and now, um, and I want to say again another humongous thank you to Trisha J. Kelly. Um, Kelly, is that right? And uh, as I say every week, never give up reading and never give up on Tristan's book. So next week, guys, bye.